present our recommendations in the area of green jobs development. Uh, Russ Adams, please. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Russ Adams. I'm with the Alliance for Metropolitan Stability. It's a coalition of environmental, social justice, and uh, economic justice groups. We want to uh, raise the issue of current workers in the green economy. A lot of workers who currently have green credentials should be supported in their efforts to advance in their careers by addressing glass ceiling issues. Also, a lot of workers who currently have green credentials should be recruited to be mentors for Alana Youth and other workers. Um, Jones will present the recommendations for um, how we can green our credentials. <coughs> um, he's L. Jones, a uh, member of the One Minnesota and Alana. Uh, we want uh, green businesses and workers integrated into all, all occupations to encourage green credentials and lead certification among green businesses so they can participate into the commerce created uh, through the green initiative through President Obama and also in the state of Minnesota and also participate in private sector participation. Uh, now uh, for building the future pipeline for green workers, Emma Carr. <laughs> My name is Emma Corey and I, and I oversee the recruitment for the Department of Transportation. I would like to share a little bit about, both as a mother, I think it's important for us to start talking to our children about the green industry, about going green personally and then considering careers in, in, in the green, uh, green economy. I want to talk a little bit about MINDAT and what we have done. What we have done with limited resources is gone and tapped the Project Lead the Way schools. Now these are schools that are providing pre-engineering classes to high school students from 9th to 12th grade. We bring them on as 11th graders and essentially they have six years as student workers with us at MINDAT leading on to be engineers at, at, uh, in our department. Again, STEM education, very, very important in our high schools to continue to support it. Within uh, the industry, it's important for us to provide internships. It's important for us to provide apprenticeships so that students can begin to see that there is value in pursuing a, gr a career in the green industry. It's very important for each one of us to start at home by talking about green jobs, and then as, as uh, employers to provide those opportunities for students. We will hear